My name is uh, Julian Matthews. I'm from the Nimipu or Nez Perce tribe, enrolled tribal member, and um, I'm not representing the tribal government or nothing. We have a nonprofit. We started Nimipu. That means the people in our language, Nimipu Temp, Nimipu protecting the environment. And I wanted to thank, I'm really so grateful and um, thankful for Freddie and his group from the Lummi tribe to bring the, we're the first stop on this journey at the Snake River. And like this sign says, um, the Nez Perce, we have a treaty with the federal government, uh, 1855 treaty with the Nez Perce, this is called, you can look it up online or whatever. And what that entails is that we ceded 11 million acres to the federal government. We didn't give it away or give away our rights. We kept, retained the rights to hunt, fish, and gather our traditional foods and medicine hunt. And so now we're fighting to, uh, we have four dams on the lower Snake River um, waterway that runs up to the um, Locksaw Selway and some of our traditional, the headwaters and our traditional lands up on the Selway, Locksaw River and other places along the Salmon. And so our big fight now is to get the four lower Snake River dams breached or removed because the Salmon runs are gonna go extinct. And I guess one thing I would like to say personally is uh, we actually, when we first started, our tr own tribal government wouldn't come out in support of dam breaching, but now they did, and they got a bunch of other tribes, the Columbia River tribes, coming out, so that's really great. I guess what I'm getting at is a lot of times, I don't feel the government is going to solve our problems. You know, I can't expect Secretary Holland or Joe Biden to come and step in and push some magic wand. It takes our efforts, and that's why we always work with the grassroots. We do a program with our kids, our Nez Perce kids, and... My thinking behind that is um, sometimes when we sweat, a traditional sweat with my bros and my cousins in Lapway, one always talks about the treaty, you know, the treaty rights we have. And those signers in 1855 were protecting, for me today, um, hundred and some years later, to be able to hunt, fish, and gather just like they did. And so that's what I think of when I work with our kids at the tribe is that I don't, I want to, when I had gone, I told them I'm, I, 30 years from now I could be gone, but I don't want them to say, what was Julian doing when they were, those salmon were going extinct? What was, what was your generation doing? And I don't want to be the one to say, well, we weren't doing anything. So this is our big fight out. We're out by the Snake River runs, Washington, Eastern Washington and uh, North Central Idaho. And we have a lot of information on, we have a lot of groups helping us to, uh, Bring, well, all we want is to be able to take salmon from that river like we did, like my grandfather did, like my great-grandfather did, and I don't want to be the one that loses it. So I told them that I'm going to fight for this Snake River Dam removal. We're going to keep doing what we got to do and push whoever we got to push. Thanks.